Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about Smart Align. Smart Align is a tool that can be used in conjunction with Auto Align. And you may have seen uh, the little option checkbox right under the Auto Align feature in Register 360. When you run Auto Align, uh, Register 360 is, is going into your project blind. It doesn't know which scans should be connected to which scans. So Smart Align is a way to, to help it out. Um, give it a little bit of guidance in, in what it should be testing. When you're working with a smaller project, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it doesn't take that much time for Register 360 or Cyclone to go through and um, try to find matches between scans. But when you get into several hundred scans, um, it really starts to take a lot of time because it's testing all these different scans together. All right, let's say you have a building here, um, pretty massive building. Um, and you, you're scanning around the, the perimeter. So let's say you have a scan. Let's say you, you scanned around the perimeter like this. So you have a bunch of scans around the perimeter of a building. Now let's say this is scan one, and then this scan is number 13 over here, and, and this scan is 21. So, um, when you look at what these scans are getting, um, this scan is kind of seeing, you know, this much of the building. And then scan 13 over here is seeing this much of the building. So there's really, there's zero overlapping points between these two scans. But if you, if you um, run the auto align algorithm, um, register 360 or cyclone doesn't know that so it's gonna it's gonna test all these pairs to see if it can match them up um, so what you can do in smart align is um, give give your scans um, a relationship to each other so that um, the program doesn't waste so much time trying to align all these scans that have no relation to each other another example is is down a long hallway so if you're scanning if this is a long hallway and um, maybe you're even um, running two different scanners so let's say this is scanner number one so you're, you're scanning with two different scanners and um, you're just you're hopping them one after the other so if you if you um, you can you can really help the the program out and cut down your processing time by um, being able to um, have a little map of this and um, drop these scans in so uh, the program kind of can get an idea of what it should look for. All right, so when you open up Register 360, I'm going to create a new project really quickly. All right, you've all noticed this big world map that we have when you start a new project in Register 360. And this is a tool for Smart Align. So um, if you scanned outdoors and um, you wanna use this tool, you can uh, look up your address here. And this will um, bring you into an overhead view of of a, your your address, and if you wanted to use this, you could say get image, and this will this will lock in this image as your as your site map. You can also use your own image if you um, if you're able to take a picture with your just your phone of your site. Uh, it doesn't really matter what where the image comes from. It just um, allows you to set the scans in a certain place to give um, spatial relationships. So I'm gonna use my own image and I'm going to just create a new sitemap here. I'm gonna delete the first one and then I can turn off this world map and then I can drop my own image here. So um, you can just go to Google um, or you can take a picture with your own phone. This is the house that I was working on. I did a couple scans around this house and I just took a screenshot of this and I have it here in this folder. 
So I can uh, drop in my scans here, and I can also drop in my image. So so now I have uh, my own image uh, dropped in as a sitemap. And if I click Smart Align, I can now drop these setups uh, onto my map so it's, uh, I can create these spatial relationships. So here, uh, scan one was around here. Scan two, right about here. Now that I've placed these scans um, down at the bottom, I can see that I have a couple uh, Smart Align options. So the first one is by time. So this is going to um, create a link between the different scans um, just successively. So if I click that, you'll notice it's kind of tricky to see, but there's a, a, a line between scans one and two, scans two and three, and, and so on. If I want to delete all those links, I can say delete all. And uh, another option I have is to um, align by distance. So if I, I click that, you can see all the scans um, are aligned by distance. Because I scanned everything in order, um, this doesn't look much more different than the first example, but um, you'll notice if I, uh, get, if I drag something close enough to the, the other one, it'll, it'll create a, a link between them. So um, if, I wanted, if I wanted to test the relationship between um, two that weren't together, I could go ahead, drag them over each other, and it'll create a link so it'll it'll now test the, the overlap between those two scans. This is also the tool that you would use if you were scanning with two different scanners um, and you were hopping them over one another. You would you would lay out all the scan positions and then you would say scan by distance and it would create these um, potential links between uh, each of the scans that are closest to each other. And again with a project like this um, that's so small it's not really going to make a huge difference um, whether you use Smart Align or not, but if you get into the projects of several hundreds of scans, um, it can really cut down on your processing time when you're trying to auto-register these together. If you're satisfied with how everything looks, you can go ahead and click Register. It'll use the sitemap and where you place the scans to get a better idea of how to put these scans together. All right, and that's it. I hope that gives you a good idea of how Smart Align works and how you can use it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave a comment below or shoot me an email. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.